And when you look at uh, the Apple Apple's warning, that really shouldn't surprise anyone. The fact that they won't be able to meet their uh, you know, revenue uh, projections. So in the short term, given how far markets have rallied, yes, uh, I think that would be an, a reason for some profit taking as we've seen across Asia. Uh, but uh, more fundamentally, I think um, we've gone past the peak of uh, the nervousness around the virus. And, you know, there are a lot of offsets around the negative impact of the virus on global growth. So how are you trading markets then with all of this in mind? I note that you have a skew towards Europe and EM. Why? Yeah, so first of all, when you look at what's, what's unknown is the impact on global growth. We know it was, it's going to be negative short term, uh, but we don't know how much. So the, those forecasts change. Uh, but when you look at what is for sure is stimulus out of China, uh, but also what we're seeing in Europe, um, the, uh, the coordination between the central bank and also the European government uh, under the ESG umbrella. Uh, so we are actually seeing a stealth uh, MMT style uh, policy support coming out of Europe, uh, which is a massive sea change. The, the backdrop is significantly changing here, the policy backdrop. So skew to Europe on the back of that um, uh, policy support, but also skew to Asia uh, because uh, Asian equities have uh, fallen a lot harder than any other market in response to those virus worries. What gives you the confidence, Nader, to say that we will reach a peak in the virus soon if we haven't already? A lot of analysts expecting some kind of V-shaped recovery off the back of this. Is that giving you the optimism to say that the worst of this is over already? First of all, when you look at, uh, you know, as Matt mentioned earlier, Earlier, when you look at the progression rate um, of the virus uh, in, around the world, the progression rate is dropping. So you start to see uh, rate of uh, acceleration actually narrowing in, or, or falling. Uh, the death rate remains, you know, the same. It hasn't really gone up. Uh, but at the same time, you just do a simple Google trend search, you'll see a massive spike in glo uh, uh, interest, global interest on the outbreak and a big drop now. So I think we've gone past that frenzy, the massive negative shock to sentiment. There will be some flow and effect on activity, uh, but that will be offset by better or stronger uh, policy support, especially out of China. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.